Welcome back to another video. They're selecting the mega. They're going for a blood ship. Here's what's coming up today. So up the ramp they go. Slides the skate close. And down they go. You don't know what you're buying in. You'll be buying in mange, yeah. scab, anything. What I, uh, every, what I advise every farmer is dip when the flock is closed. Yeah. In a sense, you have everything, not necessarily sold, but yeah. you have everything bought in. You have all rams bought in, yeah. you have a few replacement, you all lambs bought in. We bought sheep there a number of years ago, and uh, lambs, <coughs> and we bought them home. And the neighbor came along. First, he said, dip them quick, they were all scab. <laughs> two months and saying Jesus John we still have a problem yeah and all I ask is what to do boy oh we bought 30 lambs yeah you're reinfected back into the yeah pack. I know what have you done boys to hell with you Joe why will not send so simple so we're filling up the the sheep shed here now to capacity so we're hoping the the truck can can back up here in the concrete it's an absolute scorcher of a day today here now, one of the hottest days of the year. So um, we're just keep putting the sheep indoors now. To, um, so they won't, they won't get too hot now because there is severe heat there. And we want them to shit out any, anything inside in the slats. So they won't be dirting, uh, dirting the dipping tank. So, um, oh no, that's... We have 500 yards in here for plunge dipping now. So we dipped some ourselves there a couple of weeks ago, but we're trying out this plunge dipping now on the truck. Jerry McCarthy and Khmer does it, so just as a trial. If it works out good, we'll probably use it again because it's just a lot easier. This is Jerry McCarthy from Khmer and County Kerry. He's the only one of its kind to have a plunge dipping tank on the back of a truck. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did in making it. Please give it a thumbs up and a subscribe and thanks for watching. So here it is, plunge dipping truck is here. We're going plunge dipping the sheep today. So stay tuned. Truck is here now. We're going dipping the oil now. Uh, we bought sheep there a number of years ago and uh, we left <laughs> and we bought them home. And the neighbor came along. First, you said dip them quick, they are all scab. Pretty all these packly gates here along, so hopefully the sheep will go in handy enough. Well, you're giving it to the wrong man there, it's a he's stone blind. No, this is Jerry McCarthy from Khmer now, so he's he's doing the dipping here today. Jerry, how long have you been at this crack? My 60 year now. Six, six years? Six years now, actually. Yeah. Since obviously we might have been slow at start, do you think yeah. people are going away from dipping at home and going down this line with the truck? Yeah, yeah, more and more every more year. More and more. It's yeah. just easier for the farmers, isn't uh, it? Like, like there is a big problem. The injections are not working, and the problem is age. Yeah. It was compulsory to dip before. What were you saying about the dipping inspector? There was a dipping inspector for every year. Yeah. Yes. The last dipping inspector was my cousin Leo McCann in Manhattan. Patsy Ove and Kim Mayer, Patsy Randall with a dippy inspector. I remember one time we'd have to draw the water out of the river with bats and buckets, but he bought some kind of a machine that would pump it out. Suck it out. Fill the tank, but the dip was killing all the fish in the river. The council had it that time. It was fine as well, the council had it, but when the council got out of it, we had to close up the dipping tank. Christ. The Compulsory dipping, which was over was 30 years ago now. The she you were saying as well earlier, but I read it online, sheep scab has like 50% increase yes. and it's increasing every year because yes. people aren't, you were saying, aren't treated yeah. right properly and they're, yeah, they're not dipping as well. No. no so no. it's a big problem with flax. What are you saying about spreading? It's spreading the scab. The, the, the scab will live off a host for 17, 18 days. It will live in, in wooded areas. It will live off the rocks. It will live in the fencing pole. Yes. It will live for 17 days without the host. So okay. after dipping, you're allowed to put the sheep back into the same field. Where is you it? You can't get reinfected. And if you get Ivan Mech? Oh, you make you can't. You have to put it into a newer field. Okay. And keep away from that field for 27 That's years. good to know. We didn't know that, no. Yeah. No, That's it's, good to know. It's, it's, it's so we're all set up now. So hopefully, Charlie's the first sheep up. No, but um, hopefully they'll they'll go up now handy because they wouldn't be used to uh, a race like this. So hopefully they'll go up smoothly. So Jerry, what what brand is Gold Fleece here? 
gold fleece is, is by media. Yes. We have uh, three types of sheep uh, by media. We have the gold fleece, the extra fleece, and they also have the cyber gag, which is cyber metric. Yeah. Which is a chapter withdrawal of 16 days. Okay. Uh, this basically is a 35 day withdrawal, um, but 60% days and all in it. Okay. And it's a very good dip for your, your scab. Um, lice, lice, ticks. Very important for winter lice. All external parasites, kind of. All kinda. external parasites. And of course, they will take a suck from the mountain and then the yeah. internal parasites will get this way. Yeah, um, okay. Just to be very careful with this. Proper PPE, mask, the whole lot, but you have to wear these things. Yeah. Um, it's hard to wear on some days, but you have to wear them. Especially today is a hot day, but sure. Today is a hot day, but hat, you have to. Has to be done. Has to be done, yeah. But once the dip is in, the lift here goes up and down, mixing it through, so it's so it's even throughout. So he have control there that it works, it works, it works it. So he can do everything, everything on that control. Open all these gates, the lift, and there's another gate here. So once all the runoff, once the sheep are kind of semi-dry there, once all the runoff has come off, uh, he'll open the gate there, and down they'll come. So they're going up very, very easy, walking out great so far. So down the ramp they come. So it's all go here. Well, they're going off, these will be going back in now. And these are ready to be loaded up. Very stress free, they're, they're going up very smoothly, which is great. I oh, know, stuff. Meg is here straight away. So they're out of here, they go into the draining area. They're left there for a couple of minutes until the, all the runoff has gone back in here and they're semi dry and they go down the ramp and out. So it's a one-way system. So they're left in for a minute, Jerry, is it? That's right, yeah, four yeah. minutes. And their head dunked in. Their head is dunked four or five times. Yeah. And they get a serious washing in it. Serious washing. They're, they're confined, they can't get out. Yeah. And then, peace of mind, it's a great job. How are we finding the dipping so far? Oh, it's an amazing job, man, you know. Don't get your way, but don't dip in, they're going to dip yourself. Yeah. And it's the way easier. Should you be killed there if you were dipping in the tank yourself? No, what about the lean heavy sheep? Oh. And you'd be, be all day at it, and half of them wouldn't really get well dipped. They definitely yeah. wouldn't be in for a minute, would they? Yeah, they're better dipped a lot this way. Yeah, they're better dipped this way. And you, they're in for a minute, and their heads get well ducked, whereas sometimes yourself do them there. You might, the first 60 or 70 might get done fine. After a while, you'll be getting weaker and tired, and they wouldn't be getting half the length of time, whereas this. Mm -hmm. There's certainly no labour, it's stress free and peace of mind is the main thing. No, there's no stress on the animal. Um, I'd be lambing sheep or I'd be dipping sheep in up, land. Up to the point of lambing. Yeah. Um, I'd be very busy at Christmas with the pedigree flocks before housing. Yes. And I'd be very busy in, in West Kerry, in West Park in February into March for the mountain flocks coming in off the hill two or three weeks before lambing. Yeah, you can, no you can. stress on the animal. They go up on the lorry, as you can see, there's none of them. They're, they're, they're not getting excited. It's very much stress free, right? Which is great for the odds. Them. It's their first time ever going up there. First time ever going up there, and they're going up no bother. 
um, you nearly do it on your own, which is very handy. Um, so I would definitely recommend it to anyone. It's just if I had to dip these ourselves here, we'd be a couple of days out of it, because some of them are big yaws, cross made yaws, and there's no labour at all with us early, and everything is done for you. You know, all the times we used to have to dip twice a year, it was compulsory. We used to dip sometime in the summer, and we used to have to dip again in the winter. But then it went down to once a year. Why is that? Well, I suppose the mains and the thing eased off. There was always be a dipping inspector, and we'd have to bring in the sheep. Yeah, he'd come out to be pouring rain or whatever. There should be a dip that day. When did the dipping stop? 30 years ago, was it compulsory? Uh, as I can, yeah. Well, they are in the 1970s, they are in the 70s anyway. All the neighbours that come dipping that day, they'd have to come to get their dipping certificate. Would they all dip their sheep the same day? They would because some would have only small numbers, because if there were big numbers by everyone, they couldn't get them in. The, the, in December, in the short days, they'd no hope they could Was the dipping tank in our farm before, was it, for well, the na- all the neighbours? Yeah, the tank was known, and then they'd all have to bring the sheep. And uh, they'd fill the tank with buckets all the river. Yeah. They drying the water over the river. Now we're going to do the yaw lambs. Um, they're all going for a dip here now. Come on, lads. Shh, shh. Come on, shh. Wait, come on. Shh. Come on, come on, lads. Shh. All right, chilly, relax. After so many sheep go through, then you, you, you put a bit of extra dip in, is it? Yeah, after every hundred sheep in this because of the size of the tank. Yeah. If you have a regular conquer tank in a farm yard, you're looking at tapping up every 45 to 50 sheep. Yes. Because this volume of water is three times as much as a conquer tank. Yeah. I tap up at every 100 sheep. Okay. And so it's good and strong the whole time. It's strong all the time, like, yeah. Just keep it up with that. So there's a ramp here. When the sheep are dipped, so all the dip and everything, the runoff goes back into the tank in that way, so there's no runoff, and they come down the tank, uh, the ramp here, and away they go, so, super, super job in fairness. So that's his details there, if anyone wants, wants to price them up or get them, I highly recommend it, because it's stress-free, and it's very stressful when you're doing it yourself at home, and I tell you, it takes the hard work out of it. So down the ramp they come, once, once that gate there is open. What, what are the benefits of, of dipping? Oh, you'll see a big difference in skin quality, bone quality. Yes. Even clean out their feet, like. Yeah. But in Thrive, it would be a big thing. you see the wool through there. Animal health in Thrive. Right. So they'll be brighter, cleaner wool. Healthier, they'll be healthier animals. Oh, way healthier. Oh, way healthier. You'll see a big difference there. It takes two, three days. Yes. After dipping, you'll see they get whiter, they're fuller. Yeah. They look like they're on. We'll yeah. be proud of them. Yeah. What? 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 More numbers of people getting doing this now the last couple of years, and why are they is increasing? Oh, definitely. Like the biggest problem I see is the age of the farmer. The age, yeah. And the health. There's no help anymore, like we had years ago. Yeah, everyone's away and everyone's busy now, I yeah. suppose. And dipping tanks themselves have gone outdated. The concrete yeah. tank has gone outdated. Um, but general everything. Like, but most of the time, it's help. Yeah. Help in age. Absolutely. You need probably when you're dipping at home yourself, you probably need at least two, if not three or four people. Some. Yeah. In yeah. big flocks and like. Well, this is the numbers with this thing is like. Yeah. Yeah. What I do in, in, in a few hours is I'll take a farm or a full day. Yeah. Like. At least. I will be a few days at this now, like. Yeah. By the time you'll be emptying the tank and cleaning it out and everything. Whereas this is all done in one go. It is. And it's safer, cleaner. Yeah. And the way it is going now with the environment, yeah. it's all about the disposal. And like you were saying, this is a self contained unit. There's no runoff. No. So everyone's winning. Yeah. So up the ramp they go. Lights this gate closed and down they go. So the big boys are in now, the Rams. They're getting a dip as well. Where are we at 
it's in the ramp door. Yeah, the ramp. Well, I used to be doing them before. There's nearly got the, 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 that were a bit. These strong ramps, we have to put them into the tank. They wouldn't get deep properly at all? They wouldn't be deep properly as well. So, the rams are all getting dipped now. And they're getting well dipped. I recommend if people can dip once a year or once every two years even, yeah. just please get away from the injections and the pour-ons and all that. And resistance and everything. Resistance is becoming a big thing. Ski, sheep scab is becoming a big thing in, 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 in Ireland as well. Yeah. Um, it's just general health of the sheep is going back. Yeah, they're healthier animals from they're it. They're healthier animals and... and yeah, and with the... Uh, like, with, with so many people not dipping as well and people buying, like I bought lambs there a couple weeks ago, but I dipped them. But like you're buying in, you don't know what you're buying in. You could be buying in mange, yeah. scab, anything. Yeah. What, I, uh, every, what I advise every farmer is dip when the flock is closed. Yeah. In a sense, you have everything, not necessarily sold, you yeah. have everything bought in. You have all lambs bought in, yeah. you have a few replacements, you all lambs bought in. Yeah, that's it a good point. It doesn't matter if we haven't everything sold. Yeah. But please have a close flock for it. Yeah. Because it's not me in two months and saying, Jesus, John, we still have a problem. Yeah. And all I ask is what to do, boy. Oh, we bought 30 lambs. Yeah. You're reinfected back into the Yeah, flock. I know what you're saying. That, ma that makes sense. Uh, that's good advice, to be fair as well. Yeah. Right. Oh, it was compulsory to keep up as much about 25 years ago. It mightn't be exactly right now, but around that year, anyway. So, lots of people, I suppose, they didn't bother dipping. How long back can you remember dipping when you were young? Well, I can remember dipping uh, way back to about 1960. Jesus. But, uh, we, uh, we used to be delighted with it. All young lads would come to see the dipping. It was like a day old. Yeah? It was a big day of the day of the dipping. Are you happy with the dipping? Oh, I am, yeah. It's a bit... Today has gotten me, anyway. I don't have to be pushing in sheep, big heavy sheep. I'm too old for that, though. What do you reckon, Jerry? We, we won't be going back to dipping in the tank below there, innit? No, unfortunately they're getting outdated now and... It's everything dipped now, all the rams are done. All the yaws and all our lambs. If there's anyone interested in dipping, I'd highly recommend this. Super system, easy on the sheep and easy on the man. Yes. Oh. Good luck! So that's it. Also as well, I forgot to mention, the dip is diluted down three to one with water and it's we put it into the tank here and it can be spread out over the land in. So off he goes and one thing is for sure we'll be doing that next year. So that's it for another video. The sheep are dip. Hopefully that'll put a stop to the maggots. We'll see you for the next one. What the hell have you done boys? The hell with you Joe. Why wouldn't that sound so simple? Come on.